those top models Everywhere. And everybody's living up It's somebody's birthday Yo people, welcome to The Fix, brought to you by Night The Fix, your new start, 93FM, it's your boy Nara, here with Kimmy, mm-hmm. Aragon, Panalico VK, and many VK people, so me and Kimmy are going to rock it throughout the week, yeah. yeah, big up DJ Burns, big up Javi, big up Anna Productions, but right you now, it's all about our special guest, Hina the building, friend of the show, Bay C. Formula of TOK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go on. Yeah, building. <laughs> yeah, man. We're there, man. Live and living. Oh, go on. We're there, man. We're there. Promote the new thing there, man. You don't know we're in Jamaica, so I have to make the people know what's happening. Is it me? True. Regarding TOK, I know you're probably tired of hearing questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of. T- yeah. Go on. <laughs> 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 go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Um, but how has it been since, you know, branching off and doing all sort of things so far? I mean, I think it's good. It's a family thing, you know. Actually, I just I leave Saturday for a, a, a 10 city tour, mm-hmm. solo tour, and Saturday gone, I'm going to get a no, phone local call. local cities. No, not Jamaican city. Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> no, man. I mean, Europe, man, from, right. you know, UK and Germany, and Italy and Finland and all over the place. Um, Based on the EP that I put out last year, I got a good response. So I'm going out there and doing a summer tour. But at the same time, I get a phone call for a TOK concert in um October in Colombia. And right. once all the members are available, yeah, sure, we're going to do it same way. So, so. bringing the band back, back together. together. We we never stop doing gigs, you know. We're just not like making new active, music. making new music and oh. going out there. But I mean, we have a, a, I feel we have a responsibility to the fans out there, the people who make, who love your music. If they want to see you and you're alive and well and living good with each other, why not go out there and, and rock the stage? You know what I mean? Oh, so the, the problems that existed that led to the breakup, you don't think that I hinder the performance? No, we've done concerts since, since the since. breakup. Yeah, yeah, we did the Jamrock Cruise. We did up to even February in Amsterdam. The thing about it is, it's just like family, you know? You have brothers? Yeah, me have one brother. Yeah, you have siblings, Kim? Yes, I do. So it's just like that. To me, it's, how I look on it is like four of us brother say, all right, we want to build a house so all that we can have a house. And we take this land and we say, all right, we'll build a house. And everyone have them room and them have them flat screen TV and everything. Mm. And then you become a man, now you have your girl, now you say, all right, me need to have my own space, so I'm going to go out there, go build my own house. But it don't mean you have to tear down the house that yeah. you built as a family. So that's how me look on it, like, you know, even if we're not going to see eye to eye on everything, and there might still be some disagreements. Mm-hmm. We always, the music and the history that we have and the friendship mm-hmm. always seem to rise above that whenever we link up. For me, that's my experience when we link up. Actually, um, it did go public and various things were said. So yes. media priest and maybe there was some bad blood between them and the money. Yeah, people said things still, but for yeah. me, me, you know, me just bury my uncle Saturday and um, Friday gone. Yeah. And me look on things and in terms of respect. Oh, yeah. And me look on things like in terms of if you die tomorrow, was it worth whatever beef we have? Is it worth that? Mm-hmm. Like if it's not worth that, then it's not really a beef. It's just we don't see eye to eye and something, but you're still my brother. I'm still a lookout for you. So, so that's were, how me look on it. You were feeling this way just after your uncle died, or you did feel the way they from now, the now, since we're seeing footprints, I definitely have a whole new respect for life and mm-hmm. and value in the time that you have with people and. You know, once somebody passes, you can't really get to say to them what you wanted to want to say. True. So, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna really carry vibes. You know, what I mean, you, I might say something you don't agree with me, mm-hmm. and I hope you know that I'm not coming from any malicious place. But we just don't say eye to eye. Mm-hmm. But I don't carry vibes. You know, we we'll keep it positive. I'm gonna talk about yeah, burn up the Latin. <laughs> market yes. and all these things yeah. by choice or just by circumstance strategy right? strategy is yeah. choice it's choice so I, I definitely yeah. very strategic with what I do mm-hmm. so definitely I, I know that Latin America and Europe were the two first markets that I was going to attack okay. and it's been going I've been doing well so far I give thanks you know one of the songs we did last year with a female artist over there called Lauren I got nominated for some awards over there nice. video awards and in in um, Germany I got a number one um my first number one as a solo artist, a song called Rude Girl Swing, and my EP is over there doing well. So, yeah, it's, it's we're giving thanks, you know what I mean? Things could be uh, much worse for some people, you know, artists trying to make music and go out there. You, don't, you never can tell for sure if your music is going to be well received. So I give thanks for the, the, the journey so far, you know what I mean? Mm. Is it weird for you, though, like, 
it may be like a restart to you in certain in a certain sense, cause you know you're doing anything with you, okay? Yeah, you probably have to. But know what I mean? Do uh, that groundwork as a solo artist. Actually, it's more exciting to me. To me personally, I feel this is the more fun part of it than when you actually reach back on top. Cause when you reach back on top, you have more pressure to say when you go one, you know. Mm. There's nowhere else to go. So you have to try and maintain the number one. But you see the fight to get to that spot. That mm. is the that's the joy of it all. If you know, say you put in this work and you hear it in the dance and you hear it and then it's a grow and grow like you know what I mean when Nesbeth was a couple of years ago until he get to my dream you know yeah. build 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 so mm-hmm. for me because I've been there so many times I know that that is a short lived time when it reached number one but this is actually the fun part to create and to fight and push so it's, well, it's fun for me and also you know the thing is it's the first time I have full control over what I do Oh, Normally, okay. first time you'd have to yeah. consult with your other people, and yeah. mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, now you have full responsibility, so it's it's very liberating for me. But you don't feel any kind of way, like for example, last night when you were at Nubs, yeah, you know, and you're you so used to being in the forefront, and you know, say you're coming, you're always here at your case, I'm back yeah. yeah, yeah. the pants up, but mm-hmm. you come in and like you know, really hear a song for you, be like, man. You know what I mean? No. You don't, you don't feel no way? No. Well, it, if definitely every artist want to hear themselves. So it's mm-hmm. a driving, it's a motivator. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel no way like, you know, some artists don't hear them song and them get depressed or them want to rush that selector. No, I don't take it because for me, it's all, the whole part of a journey. I can't expect a selector to play something if I don't put enough fire behind the record because the selector want to play what's going to give him the forward. True. So I can't go in the dance and say, yo, dog, you know, I play my song. and No, I have to make my song relevant or make the music that I'm coming out with connect with like the kids first or connect mm-hmm. with the streets or something that like, have a forward behind it so that is what I'm doing now that's what that's what I'm doing with the mixtape the rise of the new king mixtape and which sets we're sending it out to the streets and getting good feedback so hopefully by that soaking and you know boom boom and certain selector will say yo I like this and then we mm-hmm. play this and play that and then it will happen but it, it, it don't happen before it's time it's, a, it's just like you plant a seed and then you water it and make it grow you can't expect for us to get the fruits of it as you plant the seed so it's good. With that being said, though, who is Basie making music for? Though, is it is it as you 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 say you target the the Latin market? But mm-hmm. yeah, is it that you're doing that um out of neglect for the 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 local market, or you feel out of necessity? Or? No, let me tell you what I feel. I feel like as a DJ, look at different for a singer and a mm-hmm. group than a DJ. Yeah. I think as a DJ you will always want to have music that's relevant to Jamaica. You always want to run Jamaica. True. But I think for me, based on the fact that I've seen the world, I know that it can get very frustrating if you're in Jamaica and you're pushing out and you're not getting a response. Yeah. And also it takes money to push a thing out in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So for me, my strategy is to make sure that as much as I'm pushing something in Jamaica, I'm pushing stuff in other markets that is bigger, that I can get shows and get money, that I can funnel back into my marketing in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So it's a part of a strategy. If I sit down in Jamaica every day, never do a gig yet since I've gone solo mm-hmm. and no man now play me nightly fix now play me. I go get, I go, I go get crazy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But for me, the strategy is like travel, get influences. And also the next thing is that music dance is at a very, um, wise position now in, in terms of crossover and international. Yeah. And a lot of people looking for any dance artist with credibility. And the fact that I'm the DJ from TOK create a lot of opportunities for me. Mm-hmm. So I have to also keep myself relevant to that international space as much as local. So, I mean, it's not one or the other. To me, as an artist, you have to, you have to work Jamaica, you have to work foreign. And you have to, mm-hmm. When you're there Jamaica, you're there in the streets. And when you're there foreign, you work the thing them over there. And, you know, everywhere, you have to be, you have to be omnipresent. Come on, Prisa, in the minds of some of these kids and probably hear your, your tune and your style, say, old school style. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, there's a whole uh, other world out there where yeah. them, they were pre, they must, they, they probably appreciate how them not hear your popping locally. Yeah. That means right. nothing not going for you. Yeah, well, I've never been one to define myself by that. I mean, Sean, Paul, Omi, Shaggy, mm-hmm. there are many people who prove that mm-hmm. you don't have to watch one indicator to decide if you're a hat or not. And the thing about it is, I don't know if you know, I started a show a couple of years ago called Listen Me News. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have other channels like that that connect with the kids. Mm-hmm. So the kids, they might not necessarily hear me in the dance, but if them see me upon the news mm-hmm. and I'm delivering the news in this creative way of lyrics, it's still as lyrical as anything, anybody out there, but you're talking about the news and that's never been done before, which is what I like. I like innovative stuff. Mm-hmm. I think... I like my response when I'm in the streets, I get, I still get some amount of relevance from the kids, but definitely you want the hit song out there and that will come in time, you know, it's just, just pushing through, you know what I mean? Mm. But no, man, I'm not feeling way. I, I feel like it's just part of the journey, you know? So, what, wait, so would you agree or disagree when, um, they said that if you want 
bus big in a Jamaica, you have to actually bus elsewhere. Is 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 that what that, is that your belief? And no. why you choose for no. to the Latin America and the no, you know, before you come? No, 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 I don't think there's any one way. I use TOK as an example. Mm -hmm. When TOK came out with enough boy pose like a shot on certain song, mm -hmm. it was very relevant into the streets and it's, it's Jamaica bus we internationally. Mm -hmm. So that is a that is a model like like what's happening, like what I'm with Movado then. Mm -hmm. You understand? When him dominate your son and then so. spill over. Right. And then you have, might have other people like a Omi or Sean Paul that them think but I even Bob Marley mm -hmm. that bus internationally and then Jamaica say, Oh, our oh, youth. I don't think there's any one formula but I don't think also that as an artist you must get too caught up in that whole mm -hmm. deciding that I think you should just be creative mm -hmm. free up your mind make music mm -hmm. and push it as far as you can market it to different different places and where it jump off it jump off mm -hmm. you know so sometimes like even look on Egyptian um, hold you mm -hmm. That bus in the Caribbean first before Jamaica pick it up, you know. Oh, okay. But if you want to sit down and say, oh, Jamaica now play it, so mm -hmm. I'm going to give up on it, it wouldn't work. So you have, you have the whole world that listening. Everybody tune in to Nightly Fix around the world now. Mm -hmm. So you have a global marketplace. So I don't think you should really get too caught up in Jamaica versus the global. You should just make music and mm -hmm. make it jump off where you want to jump off. So I'm going to talk a little bit about your mixtape, though. Yeah. Rise of a King. Rise of a New King. Rise of a New King. Yeah. So uh, is a uh, uh, shady I try for sure you are telling me and, <laughs> and God, let's say, yeah, come, look out. The king of the dance hall and the self Yeah, God, this, this, yeah. King, this king, king title. King. And the man want the crown, yeah, too. It, it like the cartel, from, yeah. the, 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 this, the display thingy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? No, yeah. I really only did that basically. Yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> when, when, when I've interviewed him before, he has helped me with my media project when I was yeah. finishing up YouTube. Thank you yeah, for that. Again, you your credit. Mm, but yeah. you take a uh, yeah. give you credit for that. Respect. But um, so I know so you're a well-educated uh, person that come from a very educated background. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So I know that was strategically done. The rise of a new king. <laughs> so No, all right. Here the thing is, to me personally, mm -hmm. I don't think any man can take offense to that unless you're insecure. Mm. Uh -huh. To me, personally, see? you have king of kings, lord of lords. You have mm. king in every country on the place. Mm. Me see myself as a king. Mm -hmm. That don't mean that the next man is not a king. I'm mm. not saying I'm taking someone pl else's place. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact that unless you let people know how you regard yourself, and pe people are not going to see you that way unless you make them know, say, this is my You understand? And for me, personally... I don't really hear nobody out there that I feel is better than me. I just feel like at the end of the day, some people do marketing strategies to mm -hmm. get people attention. Mm -hmm. So when me do my thing, I come out very confident, but it's not for, for trouble nobody. It's just for say, this is the rise of a new king. It's not yeah. taking the shade from any other artist and them kingly character. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> kingly character. Kingly character. <laughs> but, <Okay. laughs> but it's just for me to say, I am here now and this is my space. I'm going to defend my kingdom. Mm -hmm. If if you feel offended by that, that means that you wanted me to be submissive to you and I'm not submissive to anybody. Any real king, I don't. Any real king would not have a problem with the next man defending his own space. True. So that's that's how I look at it, you know. I think you recently won an award. Mm. Which one, that again? You and your the man of art, which one? Yeah, that's <laughs> what exactly. Well, we see recently, Instagram like, yeah, posts, yeah, we do Oh, oh yeah, give me recently, 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 yeah, recently, yeah. 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 weekend. Yeah. yeah, so big up the um Jamaica Exporters Award um association. Yes. So um one of the things I do outside of music, I do a lot of things outside of music. Um, is I'm involved in a company called Spatial Innovation, and what we do is provide GIS services to the entire Caribbean. Mm -hmm. For those who listen, you want to show GIS is like the brain behind GPS is like being able to visualize and map any data. And we provide that services to most of the Caribbean government agencies around there. Oh, okay. And that's something that I do outside of music. So we were awarded to be the one of the leading exporters of that service across the Caribbean. And also my uncle, as I mentioned, had passed. Mm -hmm. So I had the whole family come out and we dedicated the award to my uncle and my grandmother was there and all that. So okay. it was a very very touching night, you know, Saturday mm -hmm. night at Pegasus. And mm -hmm. yeah, people think, people, a lot of people saw me and say, yo, you come for perform when they are perform. <laughs> <laughs> and when they see me get up for the million dollar award, they're like, yeah. what the hell is going on? But yeah. I like to do them thing. Then I think artists and, create, and creative people are very, very smart. And sometimes we just need to think outside the box and not get caught up in the framework that them that, that they put on us. We're mm. very mm. genius-like in our mind and, and we can just apply ourselves to creative thinking and do great things, you know what I mean? So that's what me do. Anything outside of music must be very innovative. You know, and congrats again, man. Yeah, respect, man. respect. Um, tell the people though, they can follow you. Um, basic music, B A Y C music. 
across all of the platform them um the website is basic music as well and you don't know check out the, the website the um the mixtape rise mm -hmm. of a new king it's definitely on the soundcloud page and the album coming soon you don't know europe lucky in my come the next week you don't know i shut up all of the cities them man okay it, keep me with you Kimmy, you say you're on Yes. Pass my bag later. No, you have, ni you have nightly fix it. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, people. Um, uh, no, Vince, stop giving her All right, people. <laughs> I'm the fix. I'm BSC. You've reached the end of the interview. Or survive, whichever. Or survive. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to subscribe using the logo button over there. And please remember, you can watch all the other interviews over there. Follow us on all social media channels at Nightly Fix. And please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment telling us to go suck our moms as well. Or call your batty boy. Whichever floats your boat, whichever. Whichever. Yeah. Bye.